Harrison was eight years old in 1781 when the British troops under the command of Brigadier General Benedict Arnold attacked and occupied my family's Virginia home, Berkeley, located along the James River. Now, my father, who had been one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, fortunately received word of the attack beforehand and safely moved the family into Richmond. Yet, our home was ransacked and our belongings, furniture, livestock, and slaves were all carried off. My adventure occurred in 1779 when I, Anna Sims, was only four years old. My father was a New Jersey State Supreme Court Justice, and we were living in Morristown, New Jersey, when the British suddenly captured it. My father disguised himself as a British officer and carried me on horseback to my grandparents, who were living on Long Island in New York. I would not see my father until nearly four years later, in 1783. Now, my father served as governor of Virginia from 1781 to 84, and then in the state legislature until his death in 1791. I was then a medical student at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, but did not think the medical profession suited me. In his will, my father bequeathed property in Virginia to me, but I swapped some of it with one of my brothers for land in the West. Then I left medical school, joined the army, and headed west myself. Three years later, I fought bravely against the Northwest Indians at the Battle of Fallen Timbers and received an official commendation. Well, I was then stationed at Fort Washington in the area of what would become the town of Cincinnati. I grew up living with my grandparents and attended a brand new school on Long Island, then was sent for higher education to the new Mrs. Graham School for Young Ladies in New York City, the finest boarding school for girls in the country. My father was then a United States congressman and through various business deals and invested heavily in land in the new Northwest Territories. In 1795, he decided to move to the region and at the age of 19, I accompanied him to settle at North Bend, Ohio, just above Fort Washington. Since our home was not yet completed, I actually spent the first winter with my married sister in Lexington, Kentucky. Her house became a center of social activity, and invitations went out far and wide, far enough to reach Fort Washington, thus bringing a certain young officer into my life. You must have fallen in love in Lexington, and the fact that Anna moved in with her father at North Bend that spring made our courtship easier. Everyone seemed to think that we were a perfect match, except for one person. My father. <laughs> he did not want me to wed an army man, but I did. On the morning of November 25th, 1795, my father left for business at Fort Washington. And in the afternoon of November 25th, 1795, I married Lieutenant William Henry Harrison. I was 20 years old. He was 22. Some people say we ran away, but we really just walked down the street to be married by the local justice of the peace. Anna's father, Judge Sims, was not very happy and for months did not even speak to me. One day we met at a social function and he said, Well, I see you've married Anna. How do you expect to support my daughter? And I put my hand on my sword and replied, My sword, sir, and my good right hand. It would take some time, but eventually the judge accepted me. 